And like he did in France and in the UK yesterday, he's also likely to make the case for long-range missiles, ammunition and fighter jets, which he says he needs to win the war. OK, so that is very much on his mind and what he'll be requesting. Also, though, on the, on, the, on the side of all of this, a sort of side issue, Ukraine joining the European Union at some point. What's being said about that? You're right, and I think that will be a big topic for discussion today. You know, Ukraine has been very open about wanting to join the EU, but that's not that straightforward. Joining the EU can take a long time. If you say Croatia, for example, which was the latest country to join the bloc, that took about 10 years. So there will be countries today that will say there should be no shortcuts, no special treatment for Ukraine. But overall, EU leaders will want to somehow demonstrate that they stand united with Ukraine. So in recent years, President Ortega has obliterated any opposition to his government. He's detained journalists, religious figures, political opponents. Um, and, you know, more than 100,000 people had to flee the country. So without any real opposition, he won an election in 2021 and has become the longest serving leader in the Americas. Now, Washington called that election a scam and imposed sanctions on Nicaragua. The British monarch is Australia's head of state, but the death of Queen Elizabeth last year has reignited a debate in Australia about its future as a constitutional monarchy. And also, um, authorities in Australia have said that when the decision was made in 1992 to feature Queen Elizabeth on the banknote, that was because of her personality rather than her role as a monarch. Four people were arrested by Belgian police and they are accused of um, accepting huge amounts of cash from Qatar, which of course um, hosted the World Cup recently, um, in order to influence political statements, especially when it comes to workers' rights. Now, Belgian police also released some pictures. They said that they found huge amounts of cash, about one and a half million euros stashed in suitcases, hotels and an apartment. And Sophia, this goes right to the heart of the European Union because some of those arrested were senior EU officials, weren't they? That's right. One of them is a Greek MEP, Eva Kaili. She's a vice president of the European Parliament. Now, she denies any wrongdoing, but this doesn't look good for the EU institutions. But, you know, essentially, this means that Russia and Belarus could potentially compete in the Paris Olympics in 2024. So what's the reaction been to this? Well, there's been quite a bit of criticism already from Ukrainian athletes and from some human rights groups. Some of them have said in a statement that this decision shows that the Olympics Committee endorses Russia's brutal war and the invasion of Ukraine. Earlier this week, we also heard from Ukraine's President Zelensky, and he said that Russian athletes should have no place in the Paris Olympics. We're looking at a pizza, uh, picture of him here, a pizza chef, mafia killer turned pizza chef. I mean, how did they manage to arrest him? How did they find him? So it's, it's a good story. He somehow managed to escape police custody in Italy and relocated to Saint-Étienne, which is a city in the southwest of France. There he got a new identity, changed his name to Paolo and got a job as a pizza chef in an Italian restaurant. So for 16 years, he led a very quiet life. But back in Italy, anti-mafia prosecutors never stopped looking for him. And he got a bit too confident. So in July 2021, he gave an interview to a local newspaper in France where he was boasting about his homemade tagliatelle and risotto. So eventually, authorities in Italy and France caught up with him. This is the first time that the two leaders meet since Lula da Silva was elected president of Brazil a few months ago. And as you mentioned, Monica, the Amazon was a big topic of discussion. It's the biggest tropical rainforest in the world, but under Lula's predecessor, Jair Bolsonaro, deforestation went up by 75%. So now Lula is promising to aim for zero deforestation. And of course, Joe Biden has made fighting climate change one of his biggest priorities. Um, it was chaos. The website kept crashing. And within a few hours, tickets were being resold elsewhere at much higher prices. You know, we're talking up to 22 
thousand US dollars and people say they waited eight nine hours to try and get tickets and of course you know Taylor Swift is one of the most famous singers in the world and this was her first tour in five years so her fans were hugely disappointed and that's why some of them are now suing Ticketmaster